Okay, we copy that. Thank you, Michael. Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Houston Station, I am ready for the event. Jackson PAO, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is Saitama. Can you hear me? Saitama, this is Space Station. I am uh, ready to uh, uh, talk with you. I can uh, hear you loud and clear. Hello, Dr. Wakata. Uh, good evening. This is Hiroko Hando. I'm very glad to talk with you. We are very happy seeing you uh, in great shape aboard the International Space Station and learning that you are fully showing your ability based on the training on the ground. Here in Saitama City, students uh, eagerly uh, want to start this communication with you even though it's late. First, uh, let me introduce to you a superintendent of uh, education of Saitama City. Dr. Wakata, good evening. My name is uh, Mayumi Hosoda, Superintendent of Education. Thank you very much indeed for your valuable time today. We are very glad, we are very happy to talk with you today. We have been looking forward to this program. This is a special occasion for us to learn a lot about the space. We hope the students will learn as much as possible and we all are wishing that you'll complete your mission with much success. Thank you very much indeed. I want to thank you for your time. Thank you very much indeed. And uh, uh, Mr. Shimizu, uh, Mayor of uh, Saitama City, thank you very much indeed for your constant support. I am uh, uh, the Wakada Ajax's astronaut on board the uh, ISS, the Kibo Experimental Mental uh, Unit. It, I know it's late in Japan, but uh, thank you very much indeed uh, for your uh, joining this uh, program. It's been a week uh, since I've been here, and I have accustomed to this environment. Environment, and I have been conducting my tasks and uh, mission uh, smoothly. I have been looking forward to this program, answering your questions. Now, students uh, will ask you directly 
So please tell Mr. Wakata your grade and name before asking a question. My name is Takumi Endo, second grade in high school. Is Crew Dragon different from Soyuz spacecraft or the space shuttle? Could you tell us the difference, if any, please? Yes, Mr. Edo, thank you for your question. Unlike Soyuz or Space Shuttle, Crew Dragon is highly automatized as a spacecraft. Within uh, Crew Dragon, our operation is very easy and uh, it's been very sophisticated so that, that the uh, people can travel to the Earth. So it's uh, very uh, useful for stable and uh, the uh, continuous access to uh, ISS and uh, a low Earth orbit. So it's very easy. So there is no uh, the uh, steering rod, and we all use a space, uh, the space, uh, the touch panel for all operations. My name is Ritsuki Sato. I'm sixth grade in elementary school. How do you dispose of household waste on the International Space Station? And do you do anything in particular to minimize garbage on the ISS? Mr. Sato, thank you for your great question. Concerning the waste, yes, uh, there's some waste that has uh, water, uh, moist, and uh, some are dry, and we also have uh, machines. So we sort them and, uh, before disposal. And uh, the Cygnus spacecraft, which will arrive soon, and the Progress, and also ST3X, uh, Japan's uh, cargo ship, these uh, will be used uh, to uh, dispose waste, to eliminate waste from ISS. So it's uh, very important to uh, minima to reduce waste and to minimize waste. We use uh, the minimum amount of materials, and we need to control the materials. For example, when we load uh, experimental e equipment, we have to be very careful about the volume of the uh, the wrapping material and also the uh, various uh, the kits that we use have to be minimized and uh, must be managed thoroughly in order to reduce the waste as much as possible. My name is Hikaru Yejiri. I am the second grader in junior high school. I am allergic to cedar pollen and house dust. Do human allergic reactions appear in space? Again, this is a very good question. On the ISS, there is no cedar pollen, but we have dust on board. It's like a house dust. But uh, there is uh, the uh, control unit which can absorb a uh, very uh, fine uh, the dust. Uh, that's uh, the HEPA filter. It's operational for 24 hours, and each room has this HEPA filter so that the allergic materials uh, will not to get into our body. So the, these are the, uh, the measures that we take in order to prevent allergic reactions. My name is Taiga Ogata. I am a sixth grader in elementary school. We use more LED lights these days. Do you see any difference in the brightness of the Earth from your first space flight aboard the space shuttle? And how are LEDs used on the ISS? 
、私が初めて宇宙飛行したのは1996年の1月でした。I traveled space the、uh, first time, that was in January 1996. I clearly remember the beautiful night view of Japan and、uh, the major cities in the world、uh, looked very bright. But today, I think uh, the uh, light uh, looks、uh, more whitish. Perhaps、uh, the white LEDs are more used. Uh, in many parts of the world. And、uh, on board the ISIS,、uh, this is a Kibo,、uh, we have a light, lighting system. But、uh, years back, we used a fluorescent light. But today,、uh, they have been replaced、uh, by LEDs. So, like on the ground, we use、uh, more LED lights. My name is Kohei Noguchi. I'm in the second grade in junior high school. What has been the biggest difference between your life on the Earth and、uh, life on the ISS? Have you had、uh, any new discoveries or new surprises during your life in space? Mr. Noguchi, thank you very much for your good question. I think、uh, we have a very limited use of water. That's the major difference. Drinking water and water to wipe our body,、uh, we can use as much as only as three liters a day. And I like bathing. So every day, perhaps、uh, I use、uh, 300 liters of water、uh, in taking a bath. So, this is a major difference. So, in space,、uh, I sometimes wish that、uh, I Uh, could they use more water? And what's surprising in the space in space is that a human body can adapt very quickly to this、uh, no gravity environment in order to lead a normal life. So, in this closed space,、uh, things float and、uh, we can. Use、uh, very little water, but、uh, under such conditions,、uh, our body can adapt、uh, very rapidly to this、uh, new environment. My name is Ryo Tsujimura. I am in the sixth grade in elementary school. This is your fifth space flight. Are you assigned harder tasks as you get more experience? Do you have any daily routine of your own? Hi, Tsujimura Kun. Eto d e s n e Uchu Hikoshi no Kunren, do you know? And the Chijo de no Kunren deskedomo, Koksai Uchu Station, Mr. Tsujimura. Thank you. Well,、uh, when on the ground、uh, we are trained as、uh, an astronaut. And、uh, our, we have been trained、uh, in order to complete all the missions in the space. And、uh, if you are certified、uh, for certain tasks,、uh, then the same assignments are、uh, given, uh, for example, operating robot arms or the、uh, operation of space and extravehicular activities. So,、uh, new astronauts and more experienced astronauts perform the same tasks. And、uh, I go to bed a little bit uh, uh, later than my colleagues. And before I go to bed, I、uh, move around in order to see everything is in place and in a safe condition and、uh, the lights are being turned off. So, this is、uh, my routine work. My name is、uh, Mikey Onekawa. I am in the sixth grade in elementary school. What, have been,、uh, what are you looking forward to in this space mission? And which mission was the most memorable for you? So, this is the most memorable for you. So, this is the most memorable for you. Mr. Yonekawa, thank you for your question. 
It's uh, this time I have been looking forward to extravehicular activities. I have been certified uh, for uh, extravehicular activities and uh, in my own gloves. But uh, I previously, I did not have uh, the planned extra vehicle activities for myself. But uh, this time, we will have uh, the new uh, the, uh, solar panels and uh, related equipment that will be installed on this mission. So I hope I'll be able to uh, do this. And uh, I yesterday I passed uh, 365 days in space, and in 1996 I grabbed uh, safe use uh, with a robot arm, and that was uh, the most uh, memorable uh, thing in Sagamiha. We have a uh, uh, control center and the Houston mission control center were connected. We experienced some uh, the problems, but uh, with the uh, teamwork, we were able to capture the e, uh, the e, uh, satellite and uh, the uh, brought it back to Earth. My name is uh, Maya Sakura. I'm in the first grade in junior high school. Do you get scared of living and working in space? And what did you do when you feel dispirited? And what do you think of the mission of astronauts, in your opinion? Sakura, thank you very much indeed for the great question. The work in space involves risks. Yes, uh, to be honest, uh, I feel scared, but feeling scared is very important because by getting scared, we will focus on potential risks and uh, do as much as possible to minimize such risks. So when I make mistake and uh, feel dispirited, well, I think this is the same for work and uh, your study, but uh, I try to think again why I have been doing this. So going back to your original point, and even if you make mistakes, and uh, if you uh, make effort, so that's when you grow as a human being most and uh, concentrate on what you do and uh, to realize what you need to do right now. And through mistakes and failures, you can grow. Well, the mission of the astronaut, this is a big uh, the, uh, theme, but uh, in order for humans to go into the space and expand uh, our human activities, uh, then uh, we need to uh, the, uh, play a role and uh, new discoveries, new knowledge, and uh, new technologies have to be uh, the acquired uh, for, so that the humans can expand uh, the uh, manned activities in space. So we have some questions. Uh, would you like to ask another question? So what is your next dream, Wakata-san? Hi. Uh, thank you. Well, uh, the, uh, in Kibo, for uh, lunar mission and Mars mission, we have been conducting various uh, demonstration experiments. So beyond uh, the Earth orbit, uh, we are about to go uh, further into the space. And uh, this is a very important place to acquire necessary knowledge. So my next dream is uh, to have a successful uh, mission here uh, so that uh, they will be able to uh, the, uh, go on to explore, uh, exploring the Mars and uh, the Moon. 
and uh, Japanese uh, the uh, astronauts landing on the moon uh, is part of my dream and uh, as many as people uh, I hope that uh, the uh, low earth orbit uh, the uh, ISS uh, the, uh, this environment uh, will uh, be more accessible uh, to as many as possible as many people as possible. Uh, this is my dream. In order to realize that, I continue our work. So this is our uh, message to you. Wakata-san, I wish you success. So could you uh, give us uh, our, uh, your uh, message to people in Saitama, Wakata-san? Everyone, thank you very much indeed for your great questions. I feel uh, very heartened. So the uh, stay in space is like uh, the marathon. So I'll uh, try to uh, stay in shape and continue our work. And uh, I think uh, the uh, uh, opportunities uh, in staying and uh, working in space uh, will grow. I hope that, that the, uh, we have uh, the, uh, my colleagues uh, working in space uh, from Saitama. So have your dream. Uh, even if uh, you make mistakes or the, uh, you experience failure, uh, please learn lessons uh, so that you can grow further. Thank you very much. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. <laughs> Thank you, JAXA, and to all participants. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communications. Copy that, Michael. Thank you.